For the past few years, we've been so busy recruiting from the LGBTQ plus community, we forgot to make sure we had some straight white boys that know how to fight. Well, now it looks like we might actually be going to war. So dust off those cobwebs, white boys. It's time to fight for your country once again. And when I say your country, I of course mean another country. The army. Be all you can be. Being all you can be is not guaranteed. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And if you've been following anything uh, in the mainstream media, you know that the woke mind virus has infected all levels of our government. Uh, I cover in a separate video today about this ridiculous uh, equity bill for the open and free internet that Biden is thrusting upon us that uh, really not anybody, really nobody's covering. So make sure you check that video out. But the U.S. military, in particular the Army, has spent a lot of time um, and a lot of our tax dollars advertising their wokeness, their inclusivity. They spend time with all these various video ads and recruitment videos uh, about how d open and diverse they are and how anybody in the LGBTQ community should should sign up and it's super awesome. Except for when there's an actual threat of real combat. Then they roll out an ad full of exclusively white men and it did not go well at all for them. And we'll get into that after a super quick word from this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Look, in current year, everyone basically has to have a VPN. It's a extremely versatile and now basically required tool of browsing the modern internet. And that's why I'm happy to be partnered with Private Internet Access and have been for over a year now. It's a VPN I use, it's a VPN I recommend to my friends and family, and I have a massive discount for my viewers. In short, a VPN allows you to change the location that you may be seen as browsing the internet from. This helps you unlock television shows and movies that might not be available in your area. It allows you to browse the internet anonymously. Heck, even right now, we just saw several countries, for example, Google and Meta are now blocking news in Canada. And well, how are you gonna get your news? Well, you could change your location. VPN helps protect your privacy, secure your data, and bypass network blocks. It comes in extremely important all the time, that's why I have it on my computers, laptops, and mobile phones. Private Internet Access is an open source app with no usage logs, unlimited bandwidth, high speed global server network, dedicated apps, powerful encryption, and 24 seven live support. Unlock the power of the internet and stay censorship free by using my link in the description below and get yourself private internet access today at a massive discount. So we know that the U.S. military has spent a lot of time over the past couple of years, in particular under the Biden administration, um, getting woke and uh, promoting all sorts of nonsense. You see this article from just earlier this year in the New York Post, America's woke military is leaving us dangerously unprepared. You, know, you see all the memes like American military and it's some cringe like drag show. And then the Chinese military is like all these killing machines. House Republicans voted to end diversity, equity, and inclusion programs, and personnel at the Pentagon, and one wonders whether the U.S. military will ever be the same. The provision was one of a number of anti-woke measures that the House passed in the National Defense Authorization Act, including reversing the Pentagon's new uh, abortion-enabling paid travel and leave policies that have occasioned sputtering outrage. Now, I don't know what went wrong when I grew up, all the recruitment ads were like dudes kicking butt, things blowing up, and hot chicks and money and jet skis and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that still is stuff that appeals to young men, which is what they are recruiting for the most part, let's be honest. Um, sure, there are strong women in the armed forces, but um, they're a small portion of it. And um, you know, I think that in particular, it's our fortunate sons. It's the Southern, Southern poor and white who get recruited in the United States military. And, um, and that's just the facts, right? And they give them opportunities with the GI Bill and things of that nature. And that's, to me, what seems like uh, the best recruitment, right? Give people an out, give people an opportunity. That's what you should be selling. Now, wokeness. And according to the National Security Council, John Kirby, there's no way President Joe Biden would ever sign such legislation that put our troops at greater risk or put our readiness at risk. Now, remember, we have this uh, white rage or the white, uh, you know, we have that Miley guy. We have all sorts of, the list is it, it's just insane. 
how long the list of these like weird woke, you know, woke weirdos that we have in our military. Well, now that stuff might actually hit the fan, hilariously, the military put out this new ad, the U.S. Army, and they got absolutely ratioed into oblivion. Together, we can take on any challenge, jump into the unlimited army possibilities, be all that you can be, hashtag Monday motivation. The 30 second ad, um, which just is standard. Well, it looks like awfully white. Stand up! Extremely white and male. Mm. Where are all the women? Where are the drag queens? Where are the... Where... I'm confused. Where are the, the trans individuals? What, wait, they're all white. They're all white men. That, that can't be right. Oh, I wonder if it's because... Oh, we might actually... We have our, you know, our current administration wants to put boots on the ground over in Gaza... We can look at some of the quote tweets hilariously. The army has abandoned woke advertising. Looks like they're going to war and looking for white boy cannon fodder. Yeah, I I don't uh, I don't disagree with that. And by the way, remember that when you're signing up, fellas. You know, all white guys in the U.S. Army out again. We are definitely going to war. Uh, uh oh, white dudes in the army commercials. Apparently, Emma with two moms doesn't have jump wings. Here's Luke Wardkowski. The U.S. war machine now wants white guys again to come back to the military after pushing propaganda and incentives against them for years. Also, this means we're probably headed towards an actual big war. Jack Posobiec, all-white army ad. A day after we learned the FBI suppressed the anti-white manifesto. Neocons can't get their cannon fodder if the boys know that's what they're for. We know we're properly effed when the army recruiting commercials are back to all white men. Jake Shields, heck yeah, guys, join so you can so you can go die in Israel. You know, I mean, it's it's in it's insane. No, no more lesbian mom. No more ads in Spanish. No more ads where everyone is black or Asian or female. Interesting. All men, almost all entirely white. Static line jumper trigger WW two video game movie millennial Manchurian enlistee Call of Duty predictive programming. You see, weird. None of these people wanted to be disemboweled. Uh, you know, you see all these ads that they had before. You know, they've got the uh, this individual here. They're promoting the calling. You know, not as you know, it's all POCs. Uh, here you have. I mean, look. I mean, I'm not going to pretend like there aren't black people in the military, but um, you know, I think that you know they're just as brave as anyone else. But I think it's pretty hilarious, and it's also scary. You see, Iraq veterans saying. They're bringing back actual men to recruiting commercials. That could only mean one thing if we're really being honest. The military industrial complex is pulling the strings now over the woke pandering y'all tried to go for. The people made this bed, now sleep in it. The advert is full of white men, dog, we're going to war. I mean, it's, 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 it's a little scary. You see, don't fall for it, boys. Kyle Jarman, where's the, di- or Carl Benjamin, where's the diversity? Mark Dice, where are all the drag queens you've been recruiting for the last few years? This ad gets an F in diversity. I mean, you know, we're going to war. Nah. I mean, I, I get <laughs> you will go to war and you will be happy. No time for diversity now that it's wartime, huh, guys? I mean, that's where a lot of this stuff generates from when times are extremely good. That's when you have all this extra time for woke nonsense. I mean, you see, uh, conservative commentators have claimed. A new U.S. Army recruitment ad, which predominantly features white men, is a reaction to 15 years of relentless brainwash, progressive brainwashing, and a sign that we're definitely going to war. This 30-second ad depicts a group of soldiers jumping from a Chinook helicopter and parachuting to the ground, together with the captions, blah, 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 blah. Conservative activists previously expressed anger at what they perceived to be sufficient, insufficiently macho Army recruitment advertisements, including one that featured Cap- Corporal Emma M- Malone Lord, who talked about he, she, how she was raised by two moms and has marched for equality. Yeah. Yeah. R- video comparing Russian army versus U.S. army viewed over 800,000 times. I mean, that's, I mean, that's where we were at. Oh, the video's gone now. Shocking. Looks like they deleted the video. Curious. Curious. <laughs> Despite the claim... Two non-white soldiers are visible in the ad. Well, no women. 
No women, no drag individuals, none of that stuff. Peachy Keenan, a pseudonym for a writer contributing editor of conservative publication, The American Mind, also hit up the recruitment ad. The U.S. recruitment ad is so cynical, yet we talked about that. Um, you know, Patrick Fox, a U.S. Air Force veteran and military analyst, suggests the new ad was a response to the Army's widely reported recruitment problems. He wrote, this is the recruiting ad equivalent of the U.S. Army hitting the panic button. They were 25% short of hitting their recruitment goals this year. That is a massive number. You know, that is, and and who would want to be a part of that anyway? You know, like you want to go, you want to go and sign up to have General Miley or whatever their pronouns are, whatever, say that there's white rage and, and you're bad and all this kind of crap. I mean, yeah. And I think people are like, well, you know, rightfully skeptical. Over the past fiscal year, the Army has fallen 10,000 short of its goal to recruit 65,000 troops Another after missing out on the target of 60,000 the previous year by 15,000. At a press briefing discussing the issue, Army Secretary Christine Wormuth said, it was evident we were going to have to make more transformative changes. The job market has changed significantly over the past 20 years, but we as the Army haven't changed much. Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville is currently blocking nearly 400 military promotions to protest against the Pentagon's policy of paying expenses for service members who travel for abortion. Fine with that. Fine. I'm 100% fine with that. You know, like, this is what you get. Like, we need a return to masculinity. We need a return to what made America great. And it wasn't this woke nonsense. You get all this woke nonsense when times are good, money's flowing, and no one's worried about paying their bills uh, or defending their country. Suddenly, we have to worry about uh, going fighting someone else's war. Uh, and they're like, oh, crap. Please, white men that we've been villainizing for the past 10 years during you know peace times, please come back and defend us. Please come back and defend our country. Absolutely pathetic. And uh, it's, a, it's just more, more of a reminder to get out there and vote. Your local elections, your state elections, and of course the presidential election. Get out there and vote. Get involved. Listen to what these people are saying because they're usually telling you exactly who they are. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll talk to you again real soon.